Hey, honey, we got a package today. Ooh. What is it? I don't know, but I'm gonna open it and find out. You gonna help, Piper? Careful, that might cut your nose. Oh. What is it? You ready for this? What is it? It's for disbudding the goat. Oh. Hey guys, and welcome back. My name is Josh. And I'm Jordan, and we're with Working Aussies Homestead. And today we are going to be doing something that is a little controversial depending on who you ask and kind of makes us feel a little uncomfortable, but we're going to share it with you guys anyways. And we're also going to basically kind of do it as an experience uh, vlog and kind of like a product review and not a how-to. So if you're looking to disbud a goat, this is not the video to that show you're you looking how to for. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> It's not really something we want to do, but we have a lot of good reasons on why to do it yeah. for us. So for us, we are doing this just because uh, we eventually would like to have our goats have their horns, but for this point in time, we are going to disbud Sunny Mae because of her safety and for our safety. And well, let's just say that her father is not exactly, you know, graceful with his horns and he likes to get him caught in things. So, in that sense, for the safety of the goat, because we are using the Premier One netting, it's just easier for us to disbud her at this point in time. Now, when it becomes a point when we might use poly wire, um, we'll probably not disbud our goats, or when we get our new property and we have more space and more land for them and more time to share with them, then we'll probably not be disbudding our goats. It's one of those decisions where it's tough to make because we hate seeing our animals in pain and although it's temporary and although it will heal, you know, watching videos on how to do it, man, it just makes your heart hurt a little bit. So I'm not looking forward to that. Um, but I think that for the property we have now, for the time we have now, working as much as we do, I think it's the best decision for her. If you guys don't know what we're talking about, I encourage you to check out a video or just Google this budding. You'll get exactly what we're talking about. Anyways, let's move on to the product that we're gonna be using and kind of give you a little rundown of how we got what we got. So this is gonna be our tool and basically it just has a round end on it and then the center point of the horn is gonna go inside and then the outside is going to basically kill all of the nerves um, around the horn and then it will eventually the scab and everything will just fall off um, I was watching a video recently where a lady basically did it twice um, she did the outside of it and then she confirmed it by doing the inside of it I don't think we'll be doing that we'll just be doing what the instructions say which is basically one turn for five to ten seconds as a matter of fact I'm gonna sit here and read it because we haven't done it yet So to get started with this, we are going to be shaving the top of the horn so we can see it better. We're using this one is all uh, trimmer. This is basically what we got for the dogs. Yep. You wanted this really badly. Yes. This is just a very basic trimmer um, that I got for the dogs. We're going to use it on a goat. Yep. Uh, it's made for fur, according to my wife, not human yes. hair. So it will help us out uh, greatly. And then we'll basically sit this down for 10 to 15 minutes and uh, let it warm up. And then we'll do this. Uh, hopefully it'll work out correctly. This is our first time disbudding, so we're going give to it a, give it a whirl and um, we'll show you what it looks like afterwards and then we'll show you what we're looking at after we get all the hair trimmed up. So come on with us. I have a question. We're getting this goat. Excuse me, ma'am. Sit, sit, sit. We're getting this goat. How do you feel about this situation? How do you feel about the situation, Pipes? Anything? Any comment for the viewers? For the likes. You wanna tell them give it a thumbs up for the for the YouTube? Huh? Nothing? Send say hit the like button? No? Okay. You ready? Are you ready, ma'am? 
I know, it's not gonna be your favorite day, but It'll be are you right. ready? It'll be alright? Be your only bad day. Your only one. I know. Mm. You're yeah. gonna get a haircut too. You ready? Let's mm -hmm. go get a haircut. Okay, here we go. It's gonna be it's gonna be okay. So you can see right in here. Here and here is where our horns are. So we're gonna trim around there because that's where our tips are gonna go. Now, we can much clearly see them much more clear. So, and. There's a small tip I'm gonna give you. I know I said I wouldn't make this a how-to video, but if you are new to this and you are trying this at home, you can grab a piece of wood to test the heat of your iron and you can practice your circles on it. And if it does work like it's supposed to, you should get that copper ring on that piece of wood, similar to what you are seeing here. So I'm, we are not going to show you the process, but we are gonna show you what it's gonna look like when it's all done. So sorry guys, but it's just something that we're not comfortable doing. So we'll see you in just a second. Now, while we go ahead and disbud the goat that we are getting ready to disbud, I wanna go ahead and talk to you about this iron. Maybe you're looking to get into goats and you're concerned about this topic as well and you just don't know where to start. I didn't either, so I'm gonna just go over what we got and hopefully it will help you make an informative decision or at least get you started on figuring out what you need to basically look for in an iron um, and what this one kind of is cracked up to be. So I got this iron from caprinesupply.com. I will leave a link in the description below. And this is basically just their cheapest iron. And you can see here, there's not much fanciness to it. Um, it's just a straight up, just disbudding iron. That's all you're ever gonna use this for. So we were not looking to spend a lot of money. And if you guys know, we do basically carry a budget around this homestead. So we were looking for what could get the job done in the cheapest fashion and do it well. So I didn't have to do it again. So that being stated, this is the link 125G, G stands for goat. Link also makes a 125C, which I am assuming stands for cow, but we're not gonna go into that in this video because obviously we're not disbudding a cow. As far as build quality go, it has a very nice three-prong cord on the end. It does go into a wood handle that appears to be painted black, and then the shaft looks like it is chrome-plated. It doesn't necessarily look stainless. I could be wrong here, but you know. At this point, it's not super expensive, so if it's chrome-plated, I wouldn't be surprised. As far as the tip goes, it is a copper-ended piece, and it does have a beveled edge on the inside. It doesn't look copper anymore because I have used this, but at this point in time, um, it was copper when we first purchased it. You can see the heating element on the inside, and it does screw in place, so I'm assuming that you should be able to get other types of tips, uh, maybe like a smaller rounded tip or a larger rounded tip, so that way you can replace this. Or if this does break or whatever, get dented or whatever, I'm sure you can replace this as well. In the package does come this stand and you'll be putting this on for the first 10 to 15 minutes as your iron is heating up. And that way you don't burn anything that is sitting on the ground because let me tell you what, that thing gets hot. If it's gonna burn wood and other things, it's gonna burn through a lot of stuff. So make sure you put it on this stand. Two more things before I leave and check out the fruits of our labor with this. Number one, always read the instructions that come in the box. Uh, Caprine's website for this model said that they use this iron for about 15 to 30 seconds on their goat. Now, granted, we do have many La Mancha goats, so we don't have full-size goats, but if I did not read the instructions in the box, I would have been probably a little over on the time. And what I mean by that is, according to the manufacturer's paperwork, they only leave it on for five to 10 seconds. And let me tell you something, I think it's gonna work fantastic for five to 10 seconds. If I had left it on for 15 to 30 seconds, I might have done some serious damage on our goat. Please make sure that you're reading the paperwork that comes with the iron, not just the paperwork that is on the website that you're buying the iron from because they are not necessarily making that iron there. If I'm wrong, leave me a comment below, but I'm just telling you, 
five to like seven seconds is all I needed for this. The second thing is if you don't want to do the electrical iron or anything like that, you can do a paste. Um, we don't have much experience with the paste. We have a friend that does paste their cows. So maybe later we can do an interview with her and talk to her about doing uh, some disbudding and dishorning with paste. If you guys are interested, make sure you hit that like button and tell me about it in the comments below. But that's all I've got for you guys. So hopefully this iron is gonna work out well for you. Again, if you wanna get it, check out the description below. There'll be a link to it. And in that sense, we're gonna head into checking out the fruits of our labor. If you did this properly, this is what you should get. There's a copper ring here and there's a small copper ring here. So we'll check it out in a couple days and see what it looks like. Um, she won't feel it now because the nerves are are gone. So, you know, it's gonna slowly peel itself off and she won't feel any problems, but, and it will scab over and it will fall off and then it will grow the fur back. So, won't even know that it happened. Yeah. Worst day, only worst day, I promise. All right. I hope, fingers crossed, so. Now we're gonna go put her back on mom and yeah, you're gonna get a treat. She gets a treat. Yeah. She gets mom all night tonight. We're not gonna milk mom out. She's gonna have all she wants. Oh, there we go. There we go. I don't think it traumatized her as much as what we thought it would. You know, because. Yeah, she was upset, but she wasn't screaming the whole time. And then as soon as this one, she's like, okay. Yeah, she actually took it really well. So I'm not as concerned as I thought I was going to be. Yeah. But was it as traumatizing for you, though, is the question. No, like it wasn't fun. I think the most annoying part was the nasty smelling smoke in my face. Because I held her while Josh did it. So I think... No, it's definitely something I could do again, but I did feel bad the whole time. All right, guys, thanks for joining us today. If you want to see more of Miss Sunny May being born, please check out the video up here. And if you are not already, please subscribe and hit that like button so that way we can continue to make videos for you. And once again, thank you guys for joining us today. We'll see you in the next one.